Hi, hi, it's Frankie Love, and today I'm going to be talking about the end of the month of this November. I know it's still November 26, and probably stuff is still going to happen, uh, but I'm just going to pick it up from here on then. I want to get my life together because I've been through a lot of shit. So I've written down all of the shit that I did this November because holy, holy crap, there's a lot, and this is just in bullets. Okay, so November 1, as you know, I watched Doctor Strange, and it was a great movie, I really enjoyed it, and here are actually some pictures from the, those, not the actual movie, so no spoilers, don't worry, but here are some pictures. Where did our sister go? Mm. We're lost! We're little children! Okay, so that was Doctor Strange. Uh, me and my brother there had a little bit of being lost because uh, we couldn't find our parents for a while and we couldn't find my sister. And I'm like, we don't have the keys to the car. I, I, I don't have my money with me. How do I get home? And then uh, during week one, me and my sister went shopping. Uh, I went shopping for my Christmas outfit. I can't wait to show it on Instagram because I'm not gonna show you guys how I do my makeup anymore about that because it's just my plain ass self. Well, actually, this is my plain ass self. Glasses, pimples, and all. Hi. <laughs> okay, so week number two, I went to Dasma again. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't supposed to go to Dasma anymore until late in November. But my girlfriend, Grace, is actually... <coughs> I actually didn't get to see her the last time I was in Dasma. So I went back and I came to Dasma just to see her, to be honest. Because in week one, I did went to Dasma to... Is it week one? I'm not sure. But I went to Dasma and uh, I just saw... Arthur and Justine and I didn't really take much pictures about that but I did I yeah I'm not sure it was it week one or was it October anyways <laughs> I'm sorry I'm getting off track I'm segueing again so week two I went to Dasma to see Rachel because she actually came back from Hong Kong I didn't get to see her if you follow me on Instagram you know what I'm talking about I didn't get to see her when I visited Dasma last time because she was still coming back from Bicol and uh, I just came to see her only her but I did get to hang out with Arthur and Justine for a little while until I came to see her and also in week two we also went to an awarding ceremony me my mom and my sister uh, I was for work that is my third job I actually have three jobs if you didn't know and the, hence the pimples and the stress and the sleeplessness and the sadness. <sighs> so the awarding ceremony, I actually have a chance to win a trip to New Zealand. <laughs> I actually have a chance to win a trip to New Zealand. Sorry for the cough, I'm still sick. If you watch my last end of the month, I've been sick for two months now. God damn. But yeah, I've been sick for two months. Gotta get that check, I'm too lazy to. But yes, uh, the awarding ceremony, I have a chance to win a trip to New Zealand, which is really cool because I've never had a chance to get out of the country. I've never traveled. Not even like, you know, going from a beach uh, unless it's a field trip with my family or a field trip with my schoolmates. Never went on a road trip, never. Not even traveled, not even once. Can't afford it. I am too busy. I, I don't have the time. I don't have the money either, but most of the time I don't have the time. After the awarding ceremony, we went out, we actually drove out of that place and uh, there was a beautiful view and my mom was like, oh let's take pictures here. And we had a beautiful view of the city, which you will also know if you follow my Instagram. It's freaking gorgeous and here are some pictures and videos from the awarding ceremony and the view. Ice cream got dropped to the floor because <laughs> the old lady bumped into me. <laughs> I can't punch an old lady in the face, you gotta respect your elders. <laughs> but I was heartbroken. <laughs> I was heartbroken, yo. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, poor girl. Maybe except for my sister's ice cream. <laughs> girl. <laughs> It's so pretty. Look at this view. Look, it's another. I don't. I don't know if you're vlogging or not. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging too, yo. I'm vlogging too. <laughs> Vlogception. It's Vlogception. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so pretty. Wait. Oh, it's my mama. Bye. <laughs> It's beautiful, isn't it? Like my sister and my mom and all, and we and the vlogging section. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so um, we had that beautiful view. My mom a actually had to work, so we got to see through some apartments, uh, some condominiums for her, and took videos in it. And we, uh, me and my sister, actually vlogged there for a little bit because it is gorgeous inside, especially for a small apartment. For a small condominium. It is gorgeous there. And here's another video of that. This is our new apartment. Hi! <laughs> Do I like it? It's my house, babes. It's my house. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're kidding. We're just... Uh, it's my mom's job? Question mark. <laughs> it's a nice house. Yeah, it is a nice I house. I would stay here. I can't even stay in the other room. Let's, let's pretend that the other room is our actual apartment. <laughs> this is so much nicer than my dorm. This is so much nicer than my room. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> you ain't kidding. I wouldn't have a mic at all. I wouldn't have a freaking laundry machine. Yeah, I kitchen. still would. I still would. I'd still have a laundry machine in the kitchen. I mean, where the hell am I gonna put it in the bathroom? Bathroom seat, tiny. No, you you're you're living in the city, so it's best to you know just take the laundry get, pad. I don't want to get people. I don't want people to wash my clothes. That's not why I let somebody else wash my clothes. Somebody stole my underwear. It was the nice underwear, the Victoria's Secret one. Oh, my underwear is in the bathroom. Like, bitch, <laughs> don't steal my underwear. This is house number two, and um, continuing our conversation, why would you let people wash your underwear? I don't have time to wash my own, girl. Plus, if you're gonna do laundry in this laundry shop, you're just gonna put all your laundry. It's not like you separate your laundry when you're sending it there. I, I separate my laundry. Why would I separate my laundry? Because it's, I don't know, it's decent. Yeah, but I didn't say I was a decent human. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you sick. <laughs> I actually like this one better. I like I like the bedroom here. Oh, this is my room. This is blue. Because it has an elevated. Like it. You like it so nice. <laughs> feel the blanket. Oh shit. Feel the blanket. This is so nice. I want to stay here. This is actually within my budget if I want to buy a condo, but you know that's my husband's job. Or, or we can go halfsies. Or me and my sister can go halfsies. Bitch, I ain't your husband. <laughs> we can go halfsies if we're gonna stay in one room together. We can go halfsies. <coughs> but I can still afford this on my own. Technically, I just have to work like a slave. Well, technically, I'm not asleep because I'm getting paid. You know? <laughs> what are you doing? It's not real. <laughs> so, before we ended the week, me and my sister and my brother, my whole family, went to see my brother wrestle. If you don't know who my brother is, you probably don't live in the Philippines. But uh, he is John 
Cutthroat Sebastian. I think that was his stage name. But yeah, John Cutthroat Sebastian. And they were awesome. I'm not gonna do a full review in this vlog. I'm actually gonna do a separate video, probably with my brother or with my sister, depending if they're willing to be in a video with me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a video about that. But overall, it was amazing to watch something that I've never seen before. That's why I'm gonna do a review. This is why I'm gonna do a review about it. childhood piano and it actually isn't um, isn't from my childhood but it's actually from the 1930s which was from my grandmother's age and I was like I can play the piano again and yes I had the electric keyboard for a long time but I've never actually used it because there's uh, I had to plug it in all the time and I'm like oh no and I want a big ass piano you know the one that I can sit on and I'd be like yeah I can play this shit. But yeah, I've been practicing on playing the piano and I hope to show it to you guys. I don't know if I can because uh, right now I have been busy and it's been hard finding the time to practice, finding the time to study and I have not been studying by the way and I should be studying and I should be working and I should be doing all these things. So either than the piano coming and me practicing and me losing my shit when I came, when the piano came and I'm like ah. Week number three, I also went shopping with Alex which was also amazing because I went Christmas shopping and all of my gifts are ready and I'm excited to give it all to my friends. It's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna show and I'm gonna video it that I'm wrapping all the gifts and I'm not showing who belongs to who. Some of them will probably figure it out. I don't know. But I'm not gonna post it on any of my social media except YouTube and Tumblr and maybe Twitter. Probably Twitter. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap some gifts. I'm gonna show you guys how I did some gifts. And I'm gonna show, I'm just gonna keep showing you guys all the shit that I did. Yay. And that's gonna be all in the Christmas stuff for about one, two, one, two, three, four, for four weeks. Four weeks I'm gonna be showing you Christmas videos. Then after that, New Year's. I don't know what to do with New Year's. Shit. But yeah, I am, I am, I'm really happy this November and sad at the same time. I'm gonna get to the sad part. So week number four is me and my sister had to drop off my mom to the airport because she is going to Singapore. It was early in the morning. We were tired. She, was, she just finished work like an hour ago and then she took a nap. And then we were woken up by her by my mom's booming voice come on you have to drop me off at the airport and I'm like uh, I went to sleep at 2 what do you want and the reason why I had to come with my sister needs a crash buddy and if you don't know what a crash buddy is it's someone who is uh, staying with you while you're driving especially when somebody is tired and sleepy that's crash buddy someone to accompany you when it's crashing and I know this is a really long video I can see it's been 10 minutes now but that's fine I don't care I'm the one editing this anyway either than week number four either than me dropping off my mom to the airport me and my sister drop off my mom to the airport us staying up until passing out for four hours well, for my sister seven hours yeah seven hours uh, I went to Dasma again because that's actually my visitation in Dasma for November and I'm pretty sure I won't be able to make it on December because I'm gonna be busy with a lot of things not just videos but I will be studying again this time I really mean it I'm not gonna wait until New Year's I'm like oh I'm gonna start studying again it's like no I don't want to wait it's I really have to get my shit together but November I got to hang out with my friends uh, Angel, Arthur, Gracial, and Justine if you've noticed it is in alphabetical order because I'm kind of crazy that way. I have OCD. But yeah, we hanged out in her dorm 
and there's pictures of that. And there's actually a video of Arthur playing with a cat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, she loves me. Oh my god, there it is. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Toph, lie down. Lie down like a bitch. Good boy! Good boy! Meow, motherfucker. This is gonna go up to YouTube, by the way. Oh, she has a bad eye. Oh, you can restart. She has a the bad one, eye. The one from third floor. Third floor. <gasps> the top one, the top. That one. You just connect it. Yeah, get that pussy. <laughs> the cat's name is Preggers. So let's go back to the matter at hand when I said that November had its ups. Because I'm not because I know you're gonna be like, oh Frankie, these are all ups and there's no downs. What are you talking about? And I'm like, well, it my downs is basically internal. Because even though I'm up here, I'm I'm up here, all the way up here, looking like I'm having the time of my life. My my mental state is somewhere down there, in the ground, with along with depression and anxiety hanging out. I want to talk about depression and anxiety, and I will talk about it when I'm ready. But right now, all I've been doing is distracting myself constantly with uh, my friends, my family, my hobbies. And that's basically it. The down part is, like if, like so most people, whenever they're sad, whenever they're depressed, they don't know why they're depressed. They just feel it that way. I'm sad and depressed because I know why I'm getting hurt. I know why this is hurting. I understand why people do the things they do. And being able to understand the reasons isn't always great because it doesn't make you feel good about yourself. Like if you, okay, here's an example. If a guy that you like likes someone else and you know why they like some, they like them better than you do, it kind of hurts because you know why you're inadequate. You know why you're not good enough. And maybe you're gonna be good enough for someone and you are, you are well aware of that, but you want someone else. And that's the thing that I'm feeling. Like, I know why these things are happening to me. I know why it's why some people do have to leave me and it's not their fault it really is honestly not their fault because there are circumstances there are factors involving this uh, type of hurt and that's the thing I understand why and it it's it's painful to understand the reason why that I am not worth it enough to be you know I'm not worth some I'm not someone who is worth fighting for I'm not worth someone who people would call up like, I don't have friends calling me up I'm always the one calling them up and like I'm not angry at my friends or anything I'm just giving a point where I'm not the type of friend that gets called up whenever uh, they just want I'm not the type of friend where people just want to check on you. I'm always the type of friend like, oh, she's fine. You don't have to call her. It's like, oh, you're in town? Great. Let's hang out. And sometimes you want to be that person. Like, I know it sounds needy, but it's not really. You just want to be the person that people are thinking about, people are caring about. And I'm never that type of person, mainly because I always keep up this front in front of me. Like, I'm fine. Don't mind me, just leave me alone. And it, it has become very self-destructive. That's why I've cut off some... I had to cut off communication for a while from my friends, from not from my family because they're here and they watch me. And the only people who knows the complete story from this is my brother and my sister. Like, understanding something isn't always great. Sometimes I wish I could be an idiot. I Sometimes I wish I could be ignorant about certain things. And I will keep continue talking about this, but right now I am out of time. I do have to work, and I really appreciate that some people actually watch this. I don't know who does watch this. I'm just wondering who, who is that one view, who is the third view. 
but uh, thank you so much for watching thank you for listening to my rambling on and i hope you guys have a good day anyways bye i love you